Welcome, we are going to learn the language of Congo Kingdom, Kikongo. Thank you very much. Kiambote Nengwa Rachel. Kiambote Tata and Pansu and Geta. Lunama Vimpe. we we didn't have time to <laughs> to rehearse. <react. laughs> we didn't have time. We missed it this time. Okay, Tata Emeka. Kiambote. Kiambote Tata Mpanzi. Mpanzi. Tunama vimpi, eh? Ngeta, tunama vimpi. Tutondele. Tutondele, tutondele. Kiambote Tata Davidi. Kuna Minneapolis. Kiambote, kiambote. Tunama vimpi, eh? Ingeta. Tunama vimpi. Tutondele. Tutondele. Okay, we were checking in the background only Sister Rachel was ready for the proverb. I think brother David, Tata David is. You ready? Yeah? Kikong proverb. Oh, thank you very much. Okay. Kikong proverbs, wisdom, Kikong wisdom. Yeah. Mm. Let me just try to bring. Kuntu uh, Azona, Mbala, Mosi. Yeah, no, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. We get in there, no, no. Yeah, Tata, Tata Davidi. Mm -hmm. Can you read and give us the Kikomo version, please? Yes. He who is unable to carry a burden finds fault with the pad. In other words, a bad workman blames his tools. Hence, he who excuses himself accuses himself. Mm -hmm. Kikongo. In Kikongo, is Lakwa and Teti Bunina and Kata. Oh, well done, well done, well done. Thank you very much. Nengo Rocho. Also read the same prophet, read the same in English. Yes, in yes, Kikongo. Yes. Okay, awesome. He who is unable to carry a burden finds fault with the pad. So in other words, a bad workman blames his tools. Hence, he who excuses himself accuses himself. And we would say in the Kikongo uh, language, Lakwa Ntete Vunina Nkata. Oh, well done. Wow. I'm very impressed, huh? <laughs> you think as a Congo person. <laughs> when I say Congo, remember, I mean Congo with K. With a K. Ngeta, Ngeta. <laughs> Tata Davidi, over to you, please. You cannot put your hands twice into the ignorance purse. In other words, forewarned is forearmed. Um, Kutu Azona. Zoa. Kutu Azoa. Um, Balamusi. Balamusi Isiwanga Kotko. Well done. <laughs> Nengwa Rachel, please. Matando. You cannot put your hands twice into the ignorance purse. In other words, be, being forewarned is being forearmed. And we say in Kikongo, Nkutu Azoa, Mbali Mosi, Isiwanga Koko. Wow. Nkutu Azoa, Mbali Mosi, Isiwanga Koko. I'm very impressed, no? Emotional, you know? You know what? You know what I'm talking about? When they landed, in America, whenever they took something encrypted, they didn't use the full language, no? Mm-hmm. That's what they say. <laughs> in Congo tradition, this is 
what we do, you know, when you at level of understanding and memorizing, citing, saying proverbs, so you're at a uni level, university level. That's good. <laughs> I'm very impressed. You know, I'm not talking, but I'm not seeing a coke. Yeah, well done. <laughs> Basically, if you you cheat on me last time. Exactly. Uh, you can't do it today because I'm gonna say kuto uh, zoom, but I'm mostly still on the cook. Exactly. <laughs> you business, then you. Okay, you know you know what I'm trying to say. Well, imagine if you're if that's being said to you, like if you uh, somewhere it's like you know you better be we better be careful, man. Mm, yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Tutondele, matondo masaka. I'm going to play a video. Let me just, I was printing, let me just, my, my print out. And she's, uh, I'm not sure if you, she's called William, sorry, we, Freddie Williams Evans. Have you heard about her? No? Okay. Um, uh, he is an art education consultant. Her research and advocacy for Congo Square influenced the New Orleans City Council to pass an ordinance in 2012 that made the popular name Congo Square. Okay, we're going to follow a lecture. It was, it was in Germ Germany, yes. If you want me to share the video, it's a long, but I'm just going to play the play the last last ten minutes. Anyway, I'm going to send you the link. I can I can do it now on private my chat my tandem. on YouTube. Yeah. Uh, one minute. Okay, I'm just remove this. No, no, no. Very good, uh, Doctor Freddy. No, Doctor. No, I don't know. I don't know. It's an artist. Uh, Yes, we have Congo Square in New Orleans and then and in Pennsylvania. Yes, Congo Square. Okay, I'm trying to play. 1911, but it was the largest revolt in the history of the U.S. And during that time, approximately 500 people, enslaved people, up, um, revol revolted and marched from the German coast down to New Orleans. The city council within seven days met to assess whether or not these gatherings at Congress where could continue. And with some modifications, they agreed that they should continue because the idea was that there are laws already in place to control this. If people just follow the laws, we would be okay. But in other parishes, this is what we call counties in, in Louisiana, in other parishes, the gatherings were shut down where they were discontinued because of that 1811 revolt. So if there was any rumor of a revolt, or if there were changes in the administration, changes in the overall administration from the French to the Spanish to the American, these laws were vis visited and opportunities for enslaved people to gather were reassessed. So in 1819, Benjamin Latrobe entered the gatherings, but not only did he come to the gatherings and stand on the outside of those, of those circles as a spectator, which is what most people did, Benjamin Latrobe entered those circles and you think about it, you know, him entering the circles, was that the right thing? Was that a good thing? Was that a bad thing? Are you happy about it? Are you sad about it? So that is a discussion question within itself. But as a historian, I'm really glad that he did. As a um, African-American, I'm really like, you know, those were sacred spaces. Maybe probably he shouldn't have. But we have these as a result. We have the banza, which is the forerunner of the banjo the gourd background. And we have this figure at the top, which we could really talk about a long, long time. Uh, there are people who, including Robert Ferris Thompson, who've studied Congo Angola um, heritage, and they say that this, this, this stance 
is very, very important because there's nothing crossed on this person. Everything is open, which allows the spirits to come in and out. It reminds me of the ring shout. If, if any people here are familiar with studying the ring shout from the Carolinas, when people shuffle around those circles, they did not cross their legs. Nothing was crossed on them because, again, it allows the spirits to come in and out and, um, and freely because it's a religious um, and spiritual dance. So then we have drums. Here again is a man straddling the drum. Very, very important because this connects us directly to the Congo and Gola region. And it connects us to Congo culture throughout the diaspora. We see this, uh, the, the uh, practice of sitting on the drum with, in Bomba, in, um, in, uh, in Puerto Rico, we see Kamina. In, in Jamaica, we see it in the Congo. We see it in Haiti, all over. Then there is another drum and a third drum at the bottom. When I first started looking at this, I was able, fortunately, to connect with an ethnomusicologist from the Congo, Angola region. And, uh, he, and I, when I sent the images to him, he says, I'm familiar with all of those. All of those instruments are familiar to me from my homeland. And since then, I've talked to more and more people from the Congo and Gola region, particularly dancers and musicians, who also talk about these instruments and tell me what, what the significance of them. And although some of them may not be sketched exactly, but they were able to identify the majority, especially these drums, and tell me about them. So before I go on, I want to show you an example of a person playing this drum, because um, Alex Alan Lomax, who conducted a lot of the interviews during the WPA period, Works Progress Administration, not only interviewed people in New Orleans and in the United States throughout the South, he also went to Haiti. Remember earlier I said sometimes I had to look to Haiti and to Cuba to get information about what I found in Congo Square. And fortunately, Alan Lomax um, went to Haiti in 1836, 1837, and he videotaped a man sitting on a drum playing it in this. Of seeing it and studying it. So, this is a great, great um, resource for dancers as well as musicians who are studying that. But in addition to having the sketch, uh, from Congo Square, we also have a narrative from a, a person who was interviewed, oh gosh, who was interviewed, uh, who talked about this type of drumming. Now, let me just tell you a little bit about this one. So he told me, he said, it's a drum. I said, a drum? How is it played? He said, the musician sits on the ground and he places one toe underneath uh, the, the head from underneath. And on the top, he plays with his hands, but then he moves the toe back and forth. Same principle as the drummer we saw from Haiti, right? Changing the pitch of the drum. Okay, let's go on, we have to go. So here's the drum. So the Juba dance is uh, uh, one of the dances that was observed in Congo Square. And this came from James Thomas, who saw the dances in the 1840s. Actually, James Thomas had been to New Orleans, had been brought there as an enslaved person. And this time he comes back as a businessman. And Robert Ferris Thompson found out that this drum comes from a key Congo word, well, this, this dance comes from a key Congo word as well as a verb meaning zuba, which means to slap. Very, very important. So here we have the, the influence, the carryover. We have handbone, we have slapping juba. The influence also extends to Greek show steppers, college students who step in Greek show. The, this other dance, the Congo dance, very, very popular, was the most written about dance during the American period. And there are lots of narratives about it, lots of eyewitness reports. Timothy Flint also saw people dancing the Congo dance in the streets of New Orleans. This dance is related very closely to the second line dance when it was seen by some of the, uh, by Benjamin Latro particularly, he saw women with handkerchiefs dancing around the insides of one of those circles that he entered. Remember I just said he entered the circles. The Bambula dance. This is one of the earliest references to the Bambula dance. Uh, it was 1786 and one of the bishops complained about people dancing the bambula before the end of services. Remember I said on Sundays, enslaved people were able to enjoy the Sundays as holy days, but in the afternoons they could come and dance. Well, in this case, they were dancing before the afternoons, before they were able to, uh, were allowed to do so. And he responds by using the word tangos, which is one of the earliest references to the word tangos. 
um, and important when you think about tangos and habanera and um, the bambula dances, Congo dance, all those are connected. I want to move as quickly as I can to this passage by Alice Nelson Dunbar, who says that those people who know the tune of the Congo dance, um, which every child in New Orleans could sing, if the Congo dance, the tune was that popular, it was I don't know what would be popular here in Germany, but in New Orleans or Louisiana it would be like Mary Had a Little Lamb, something that everybody sings. And I even have a, a, an interview from the WPA period that talks about the popularity of the Congo dance and how it was one of the dances of Congo Square. This is a tune, one of the Creole slave songs that was used to, to accompany that dance. But at the very beginning is the habanero rhythm. Can you clap that with me? and stop. All right, so that rhythmic pattern is important to us in New Orleans because you know if they were singing this song, Dancing a Dance in Congo Square, was this the only rhythmic pattern going on? No. Polyrhythms, right? Call and response. All of those, those characteristics that we know of jazz were very present in Congo Square. And so one of the variations is a three-part rhythm that people in Latin America call the tracio, right? But it has now become the basis of New Orleans music, indigenous music. We call it the second line beat. We call it the bambula beat. We call it the parade beat, the street beat. We even call it the New Orleans beat because it's just that primary to New Orleans music. And so it goes like this. Can you that with me? Okay, so then I was going to play the melody for you so that you could see how this Creole slave song was appropriated. Five minutes? I have time then. Yes, okay, good. All right, so let's play the melody. This piece, I, I could, we could have a whole session just on this one piece, but let me just... Many of those songs, this one included, came from Haiti. Remember I said I had to look back to Haiti and Cuba when I studied um, the uh, study Congo Square. So then one of the families that migrated during the Haitian Revolution was Louis Gottschalk's family. And with him, they brought, with them came Sally, the nurse, babysitter in our turn, but nurse. And Sally sang these songs for Gottschalk's, for the families. As a matter of fact, this piece was written by Gottschalk's sister, the piano accompaniment. She wrote a series of 12 of these Creole slave songs. And she said in the beginning that these were the songs that rocked generations of children to sleep. This is how, and this is the, the, the interview that was given, that we don't have time for, was given by a person of European heritage because she said, they sang it all around me. I know this song, I know it in and out. All right, so let's go on. I want you to then hear how Louis Gottschalk used that melody, and he used several others as well, for his world-famous piece, Bambula. So then, 60 years later, uh, Samuel Coolidge Taylor also treated the melody, but what he did was significant. He placed the melody line at the top, and he placed the origin. He says West Indies. Do you see that at the very top? So he gave credit to the location for this melody, the West Indies. And we know that it came from Haiti. So let's listen to uh, the way Samuel Coolidge Taylor treated this same melody. And we can go on. But I know that we want to, um, st I want to stop so that we can, I can take questions from you. Basically, the practices, and I had a whole list of them, I got through as many as I could, uh, were once marginalized. But they are now mainstream when you think of New Orleans culture and culture around the world because we see the elements that became what we know as jazz music. We know that the music of Mardi Gras Indians, and I do have one piece, if we can play it very quickly, because then you can see the, tre the tresillo, the second line beat, the bambula beat, and how important it is to New Orleans music. Okay, so I know it's hard to stop. <laughs> 
but I'll stop. <laughs> But sister Rachel, I think you so you know can you see why Haiti flag on uh, on our logo? Can you see the on why? I did explain to you. You did uh, you did ask me why. Yes, you said that um you know, essentially, the ge genetic fabric of Haiti, the Congo takes up a very significant portion of it. More than 60%. Then, more, more than 60% of Haiti yeah, yeah, are yeah, Congo yes. origins. Yes, they are. And, and, mm -hmm. and, and, oh, and you were sharing with me um, offline that um, during the, our revolt, it was Re revolution, revolution, national revolution. During our revolution, it was the our it was the Congo uh, enslaved people. Yes, uh, that were some of the the, the head leaders that uh, ushered us into, you know, our our, our state of um, independence. So yes, Congo, yes. and you even you even mentioned which I have to actually go back and I haven't had time to, but I'm going to do this. You mentioned that um, the the Haitian. The very first constitution of Haiti was written in Kikongo. Kikongo, yes. Which is phenomenal. We're still, we're still, we're still looking for uh, that's that's phenomenal. We haven't found it. Okay, thank, thank you very much. Yeah. Is this Brother Emeka, any question? No, 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 I, that was great. That was great. <laughs> yeah, yeah see the flag. Because we did you you forgot Sister, to mention something very important. What happened to Napoleon Army? Who defeated the Napoleon Army? Oh, but where was okay? Well, in the revolution, Haiti. He would say that Haiti, IT, defeated Haiti, mm, IT in French, IT, yeah. But but to be sure, you know, we want to basically also as we're learning about our past origins, mm. that the it, these people are from the Congo, so yeah. the spirit of the people are, is the spirit of Congo, mm. um, and so. It's, it's just, uh, it's very fascinating. And it's also yeah. interesting to see how we just see also Congo was um, some of the first people of the enslaved Africans. Yes, the first, first to, la to land on, the, on here the, in the Cuba, US Cuba Island, yes. Were yeah. of Congo origins. Yeah, so we defeated the Napoleon army, but you don't read it in French in France, you know? Of course not. Yeah, <laughs> the commander was uh, the his name was Makaya. Yes, Makaya, is... Commander Makaya. Uh, uh, oh, thank you very much. So, Sam, I mean, they keep writing K, uh, sorry, they keep writing C instead of K because when you're talking about Congo, Congo Square history, you don't we don't we don't we're not talking about countries, you know. We're yeah. talking about kingdoms from Africa. Mm -hmm. We're talking about Congo kingdom, like you and me, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Congo people, K Congo K, K K, kicking K, Congo. So <laughs> Zuba dance. Zuba means to slap, hit. In Kikongo, Zuba okay. dance. Can you say that one more time, Tata? Can you write Sorry? it for us? Put this in the chat. Write it. Write it for us. And I would say it. In Kikongo. No, no, the, the the description you just gave, it's for some reason I got a little feedback, so I, I didn't hear it all the way through. Uh, about, sorry, about the... Uh, about Zuba. Uh, Zuba, J-U-B-A. Mm -hmm. The original name is in Congo, Zuba, slap, I mean, to hit, mm, Zuba, ah, okay. uh, Z-U-B-A, Zuba. Okay. Mm. Then the another dance was Bambula dance. Bambula means to remember. Mm -hmm. To remember. I mean, Bambula Moyo, to remind, to remind someone, remember? Uh, yeah. Tata, I make this for you. <laughs> tango, tango, tango. We're talking about the tango, the only tango we know, we all know, yeah. from Argentina. <laughs> The tango is Kikongo from tango. And let me write for you. Uh, N 
N N T U Tango N sorry N T Tango A G U You're right well done N N T A N N T A N G U is there Okay Tango 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 means I mean, this is a well documented online. You can see the documentary. Um, a tango means sun can mean uh, sun or time or hour. When uh, sun, I mean S U S U N sun, the planet or time or hour. Oh, that was good. Thank you very much. There's actually a song on uh, YouTube. Uh, I have to share the name of the artist, but he actually puts that um, term in his song. It's tango, tango, mafuta. It's, uh, you know, the time, it's time now to, to give praise uh, okay. to, to the most high. <laughs> yeah, tango, tango, yeah. Mm -hmm. tango, yeah. Thank you very much. Let us go to the uh, today's lesson. Uh, that was good. This is uh, a history, you know? I mean... It's beautiful. Next time, come back, come back early, come back early. We, <laughs> the few can not survive, you know. You <laughs> can't say that because all, all these all these things you see here, see the proverbs and these dances, the dance, the name of that. These are codes, you know, encryption. Yeah. You know when we were talking about the history behind the capoeira. Capoeira dance. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. There, this is a coding, you know. They used to do that to fake that we're playing, but they were training how to fight against the yes, master. Yes. <laughs> oh wow. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right out in the open. Exactly. <laughs> so all, all these dance, mm -hmm. because they, they carry meaning, you know. Zuba means Zuba. Mm -hmm. Slap. I don't know exactly what they meant with that. They know why they did <laughs> the name the dance. Zuba. Bambula. Uh, Bambula. Bambula, I guess, is to remind, to remember where they come from. See? Tango. Oh, Tango. This is long. <laughs> tango. Mm -hmm. We need to read more, more about Tango. Mm -hmm. There are lots of things hidden behind Tango background uh, name okay let me just uh, share we're revising free lesson free mm, section one yeah congo congo kingdom with k congo yeah i'm sure sister we remember now Sister Rachel Utokozima can be. Remember. Yes, it means uh, it is not good to not uh, honor your uh, honor. You know, people who have gone before us. To um, in this case. Yeah, you're right. Well, well, well done. There's a there's a word for that. Ta -ta -da oh yes, um, I'm sorry. I don't remember the word for ingratitude. Uh, yes, to yes, fail but, to have gratitude, but yeah, that's yeah. what it is. Yeah. Thank you, thank you. That's Talking about good. ingratitude, so we're going to say thank you to <laughs> Tata M. M. Can you read for us, please? Yes. Uh, Congo language course. Uh, Malongi Maki Congo Kizombo by Professor Hazel Carter and the Reverend Jao Makondekwa. Uh, Joan Hazel Carter, the 22nd of February, 1928, uh, to the 3rd of August, 2016, received her doctorate with her dissertation, uh, syn Syntactic Tone phrase Phrases in Kikongo, Kikongo Language, African Studies Program, Department of African Languages and Literature, University of Wisconsin-Madison, United States of America, May 9th, 
1980. I don't know what's behind the tree. I think it's, it's yeah, Madison, May, May, eighty-seven. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yeah. May, May, yeah, May, nineteen eighty-seven. Thank you, thank, thank you, brother. Two tondele, two tondele. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, what what we're learning? I mean, what we're learning from this book is, I could say, extract. Must it from her dissertation? Four hundred pages, four hundred plus. I was just last night checking. I mean, it, it's hard. Good work. So you, we, we are drinking from the fountain. Very, very good. Can't go wrong. <laughs> so today we are on. This is such a noun, a subject noun variant, moving high tone compound. Third person singular pronoun. Remember what I said last time. Kikongo is an international language. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Long mm -hmm. vowel. Very very critical. Very important. Good pronunciation because your pronunciation gives the meaning to a word. Mm -hmm. That Dave from uh, Chicago. Are you there? I'm here. <laughs> If I say Yamona, mm, I mean, let's say, I mean, I can translate, I want to see, I would like to see. Listen mm -hmm. carefully, listen to me. Yamona, it's present. Same word, yeah. same word. If I say Yamona, it is past. Okay, one more time. <laughs> Did you get that, sister, Rachel? Yeah. Yamona. Uh, let me say it again because it's very important. Yamona, Yamona, Yamona. Wow, it's that's past. Amazing. Past. <laughs> Yamona, Yamona. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> so that's very critical to understand to to know that uh, you need to take your time. Long vowel. Mm. The intonation, NT. Let's say that that is exactly what, what we just watched from we saw from the, that video. Tango. They didn't write with N because they couldn't pronounce ta. See? Mm. You, are you with me? Ta. Mm -hmm. they, can't, they couldn't pronounce ta. Ta. That's a tango. No N. Mm. Uh, there's another dance from Congo. Congo from you and me. Uh, rumba. Mm -hmm. Rumba. Rumba comes from a word nkumba. Mm? Mm -hmm. Nkumba is same thing. You know when the uh, um, umbilicus, you know when the nkumba, yeah, nkumba. Let me just write for you. Nkumba. To, to cut? No, no, that's uh, meant that you, you unite your you kumba with someone else when you're dancing. Ah. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Your, your body? Yeah. Your, yeah. Ombi, ombi, your ombi. <laughs> okay. Ombi, <laughs> Okay. So, so it, means to, it means to unite one's body to another in the dance. Yes. So because they couldn't pronounce, they, they uh, they couldn't pronounce kumba, mm -hmm. did you say kumba? I just said, did you say, Brother, that time, this is it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cool. Then we call it the Roomba or Rumba. So Roomba, yes? Yes. Yeah. Wow. Okay, let, let's just move quickly because this is going back to the history. Let's just move quickly. Uh, That's really, really interesting. That's why we need to come early, always early, to talk about this is uh, very critical. You need to know about your history. Remember Bob Marley? Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> umbilicus, yeah, umbilicus, yeah. So if you knew your history, ah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, now we're going to, to read. T take your time, no rush. L let me just read for you, then you're going to follow. Repeat after me, I mean, you follow. Omwana. Hmm? Omwana. Long, long vowel, long vowel. Omwana. 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 
Omwana. Omwana. Ok. Ya mona. Ya mona. Ya mona. Ya mona. Ya mona. It is in the blood. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Mona. Okay. Ndumba. Nengwa Rachel. Ndumba. Ndumba. So, Can you say a long vowel? Ndumba. Can you say it, please? Ndumba. Well done. Ndumba. Okay. Ndumba. Well done. Tata Dave from Chicago. Can you read for us, please? Omoana. Osinga. Die. Well done. Elo. Oyandi. Osinga. Dia. Well done. Well, well done. I'm very impressed. Omoana. Remember last time I said, uh, uh, said Leka. Yeah, your 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 son, your baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Leka. You're happy, yeah. Good mm -hmm. boy, you're having well. Leka. Go to bed. If you're not <laughs> you're not happy, you say Leka. See? Forget about long vowel. That that is very important. Wait, I have a okay. Sorry? I was going to ask you a question on the previous screen. Uh, let me um, go back. I'm going back. You, you, um, there's a alphabet A, and it has the parentheses, right? So it says Omwana, and you have the, uh, the alphabet A there. Uh, okay. Omwana. Um, uh, I don't understand what you, they put there, but Omwana. Um, okay. Mm -hmm. So that so Omwana um, is for both male or female child. Oh yeah, 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 yes, yes, yeah, yes. Mm. Okay, Omwana. Oh, singa die. So it's mm -hmm. a neuter. Okay. Omwana, mm. oh singa. Omwana, oh hard to get on on stage. Okay, let's 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 stick with this one. Omwana <laughs> mm. kento, baby uh, boy. Omwana yakala. So yeah, omwana kento. Girl, mwana yakala, boy. Mwana mm. kento, mwana ndumba. Okay. Ta, ta, Davidi. Kuna Minneapolis, please. Okay. Onkenta o singa lambe. Elo, oyandi o singa lamba. Oh, thank you. Oh, yeah, and the Osinga Lamba. Tata Emeka, sorry. Okay. On Kento Osinga Lambe. Hello. Oh, Yandi Osinga Lamba. On Kento Osinga Lambe. Hello. Oh, yeah, and the Osinga Lamba. My friend. Uh, said to me that we don't speak. I mean, he did ask me, Do you when you talk, do you sing or you talk? Because the way we pronounce, <laughs> <laughs> because remember, I'm not, I'm not a psychologist. Remember, language is do with your psyche, no, you know, absolutely. Uh, we were so, yeah. we were told, mm -hmm. get that. Language, psyche, your soul. I mean, yeah. well, the, key, the language has a, it has a melodic, melodic tone. To mm -hmm. it. Yeah, Even yeah. Speaking it. So we are peaceful people, you know, Congo people. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we, we are known for that because I uh, remember we are known for Kinzons. Kinzons mean diplomacy. Mm -hmm. Yes. We yes. don't fight, but <laughs> diplomacy. <laughs> wow. wow. Dr. Dave from Chicago, please. Uncle Hundi, Aaku. Osinga Vutike Vutuke. Well done. Elo Oya Oya Andi Osinga Vutuka. Oh, well done. 
Uh, here we just say contraction vowel. We just go ah. I and I just go umkundiaku. Take that as a word, one word. Umkundiaku. We sing a vutuke. Hello. Oh yeah, and we sing a vutuke. Well, that, very good. Let me just uh, ta ta Davidi. <laughs> Umkundiaku. We sing a vutuke. Hello. Oh yeah, and we sing a vutuke. I mean. You really well. mm, no, no, you're fine. I mean, uh, because I, I rewrite uh, from the, the original doc, Professor Hezokata document, mm -hmm. See, it is a how do you call it, intellectual property, you know? I have to repeat everything. If, uh, I, I didn't want, I, I don't mind if they're, they're mistake, but I have to do it as it was. Brother Dave, David, you are right. Mm. Vutuka, mm -hmm. yeah, the Vutuka, but okay. I, I didn't want to try correct you, otherwise, I end up. <laughs> I mean, it's not good to mess up, you know, because yeah. other people work. Yeah. So, so it should be Vutuka, you're right, yeah, mm -hmm. okay, you're right. Keep listen to me, listen to me, <laughs> Vutuka, mm -hmm. you're right, brother David. Listen to me when I say Vutuka, I mean something else. Come, come back. Uh, oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wow. Can you see the nuance? Nuance. Yeah, Congo. Very, very careful. Butuka. Yeah. <laughs> Butuka. <laughs> okay. Yes. Tata Emekan. Are you, you ready, Finn? Yes. Uh, uh, Nkundiaku of Singa Butuke. Mm -hmm. Hello, Oyandi Osinga Vutuka. Well done. Nengua Rachel, please. Unkun Diaku Osinga Vutuke. Hello, Oyandi Osinga Vutuka. Thank you. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. I just can't believe, uh, brother. I mean, it is in the blood anyway. Brother from the US, uh, reading Kikongo. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. Yeah, it is in the blood. Start a bed from Chicago, please. O muntu, o singa vate, elo, o yandi, o singa vata. Well done, well done. Very good. Remember last time I spent muntu, human being. Mm -hmm. but yes. Yes. Could be, can be two words, mu, ntu. Mm -hmm. M-U, mu, ntu, mean head. So, short vowel, mu, ntu. In my head, on my head, on my head, mu, ntu. This is mu, ntu. Person. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't have it, please. Uh which one, brother Chicago or brother Minneapolis? <laughs> <laughs> Minneapolis, please. Okay. O muntu o singa vate. Elo, o yandi o singa vata. Well done. That time, ka. O muntu o singa vate. Elo, o yandi o singa vata. Name or ritual, please. O muntu o singa vate. Elo o yandi o singa vata. Thank you. Bena muntu. Sorry? I said bena muntu. <laughs> yes, bena muntu, yes. <laughs> okay. Oh, let me read for you before uh, try to help here. On the zimuana. Hmm? On the zimuana. Don't worry about the double N. Only worry about the dub, dub, double vowel. Don't worry about the consonant. Double. Don't worry about it. On the Zimuana, Osinga Sale. Remember, we have two Sala. What I make, I remember. One yes, Sala should be. Sala is, is to work. No, no, that's to, to lead. To, I'm sorry, to stay. Yeah, sorry. The long vowel. Then the, long the, short vowel one. Yes. the short one is to work. Yeah, thank you. Yes. Tata Dave from Chicago, please. On Desi Miwana, Osinga Sale. Well done, well. 
Elo, Oyandi, Osinga Sala. Well done, well done. Wow. Tata David, na Minneapolis. Ondezi <laughs> mwana, <laughs> Osinga Sale. Elo, Oyandi, Osinga Sala. Thank you. Tata Emeka. Ondezi mwana, Osinga Sale. Elo. Oyandi of Singa Sala. Well done. Nengwa. Rachel, please. On Desi Mwana, of Singa Sale. Elo. Oyandi of Singa Sala. Thank you very much. When I say Sala, eh? stay. You want to say Sala? Sala. Just stay. Just stay. <laughs> <laughs> see, this is Cong Congo people. I mean, this is Congo people, you know. When Congo people is not happy, just listen carefully <laughs> how they pronounce the words, no? <laughs> mm, it's very yeah. short. Yes. You don't get it if you're not Congo. You don't get it. <laughs> yeah, just say, oh, the same thing. No, no. They don't mean the same thing. Tata Dave, Chicago, please. Let me just read for you. Opumwavata. Make it a word. One word. Opumwavata. Osinga vyoke. Vyoke. Elo. Oyandi. Osinga vyoka. Please. Omfumu. vata. Make it a word, one word. Mfumuavata. Mfumuaka. Mfumuavata. Mfumuavata. Say one more time, Tata. Okay. Just to make the word, one word. I mean, Mfumuavata. Mfumuavata. M-A. Mfumuavata. Yeah, the U-A makes like a W sound. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, fumu, um, fumu mm. vioke, mm. elo, oyandi, osinga vo... vioka. vioka. Mm. Thank you. Tata Davidi, Minneapolis, please. Um, fumu aguata, osinga vioke, mm. elo, oyandi, osinga vio... vioka. 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 Mm. Yeah. Oyandi Osinga Vioka. Mm, I, have, I have a question. I have a question. Go ahead. Um, so I'm, I'm noticing a pattern here where it says Oyandi, Oyandi, Oyandi. Does Oyandi take the place of the uh, aforementioned subject, in this case, Ofumuvuata? Him, him, yes, he. So Oyandi takes the place. So rather than having to recite again that person or thing, you're just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah, him. Okay, Thank very good. You. Okay. Remember Vyoka, Vyoka. Vyoka. <laughs> if I say okay, Tata Remka, please Vyoka. I'm happy. Say <laughs> Vyoka, Vyoka, Vyoka. Vyoka. <laughs> vyoka. Vyoka. Emergency. I'm yeah. happy. Oh, God. <laughs> Chicago, please, that's the day. Omoana, Osinga, Leke. Well done. Elo, Oyandi, Osinga, Leka. Leka. Mm. Mm, thank you. Tata David, David, Minneapolis. Omoana, Osinga, Leke. Elo, Oyandi, Osinga, Leka. Thank you. Remember Leka, Long Vowel. Mm -hmm. If I say leka, leka, leka. <laughs> I mean something different. I'm not happy. Tata Emeka, please. Omwana, Osinga, leke. 
Mm-hmm. Elo Oyandi Osinga Lega. Thank you. Ningo Rachel. Omwana Osinga Lega Lega. Leki. Leke. Leke. Omwana Osinga Leke. Elo Oyandi Osinga Lega. Lega. Thank you. Don't worry about the accent because this accent is confusing. Okay. Finger Lega. It should be. The other way. <laughs> the other way. <laughs> Let me read for you. Omuntu, Omuntu, Osinga Vivile. Don't worry about double consonant. Hello. Don't worry about double consonant, but you should worry about the vowel. When you get a double, man, do you hear? We just have it for learning purpose. But in real life, we don't write that book. That's a dev. Chicago, please. Omo untu o singa vivile. Elo o yandi o singa vivila. Oh, thank you very much. I'm very impressed. Very, very impressed. That's a David. Minneapolis, please. Omo untu o singa vivile. Elo o yandi o singa vivila. Thank you. Thank you. Tata Emeka. Omuntu Osinga Vivile. Elo Oyandi Osinga Vivila. Thank you. Nengwa Rocho, please. Omuntu Osinga Vivile. Elo Oyandi Osinga Vivila. Okay. Last slide. Then comes the test, you know. Oh, that's <laughs> them, <laughs> Chicago, please. I'm from what I'm from Wavata, hm, Vove, Elo, or Yandi, or Singer Vova. Thank you, Tata Davidi, Minneapolis. From Wavata, or Singer Vove, Elo, or Yandi, or Singer Vova. Tata Emeka. Omfumo Avata, Osinga Vove. Elo, Oyandi, Osinga Vova. Thank you. Name of Rachel, please. Omfumo Avata, Osinga Vove. Elo, Oyandi, Osinga Vova. Can you try it again, please? Make it the one word. Omfumo Avata, Omfumo Avata. Okay. As the brother, I think brother Dave said that. Brother Amy, like the deputy, huh? Ofu muavata. Can you try to read it again, please? Then go watch. Ofu muavata. Ofu muavata. Ofu muavata. Ofu muavata. Ofu muavata. Vata. O singa vove. Ofu muavata. Ofu muavata. O singa vove. Elo. O yandi. O singa vova. Thank you. You are very resilient, you know. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to give up. That's good. <laughs> okay. Small tests. Uh, this is second person, a uh, singer. Hmm? Uh, okay. singer? Yes. Uh, okay. Me, I, I'm going, mm -hmm. I want to bed. Tata Emeka, can you try to uh, change, change here? Okay. Um, o, just, o mono, 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 o mono, me, yes. I, o mono. Mm -hmm. Okay. O mono isinga leke. Well done. O mono isinga leke. Yeah, wow. Thank you very much to Tondele. Tondele, I'm very impressed. Hey, see you. All right. If you come early, half an hour before the time, we are fine. You can talk about, chat about other stuff, you know. We can stay live, you know. Because remember, Congo people are diplomatic. We call it. Let me write it for you. Kinzonzi. Kinzonzi. We, we, we are known about Kinzonzi people. 
Thank you. 